What's going on YouTube? My name is Ryan Henderson, um, just a tech guy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I just want to show you some things in the Google Wi-Fi app and the Google Home app to manage your um, Google Nest Wi-Fi connection. So the first thing I do, I want to show you my speed test, so the kind of speeds I'm getting. So it can kind of vary from day to day. So right now, this is the history of the speeds I'm getting. And if you see the lower days, like the 45s or so, that's what I want connected to the 2.4 gigahertz because the Google Nest Mini Wi-Fi router, it determines whether or not it's going to connect you to 2.4 or 5. Um, as far as I can tell, there's not a way to manually force a device to connect to the 2.4 to 5 gigahertz. If there is a way, I haven't found it yet, but I'm pretty sure there's not really a way to do it. So the Google uh, Mesh router determines that for you. So some days you can see I'm getting 261, 222, 245. Other days I'm getting 100 or a little over 100. So those are pretty much, uh, and I have a 400 megabits connection with my internet service provider. So let's see what kind of speeds I'm getting right now, right at this moment, according to speed test. Okay, so right now I'm getting about a 114 download. Let's see what the upload is. So about 23 upload. So I'm going to here show you something else. I'm going to show you the Google Home Wi-Fi app now. So I'm going to go to um, Google Home. I'm um, already was in the app, and I'm going to go Wi-Fi. It's just right there. As you can see here, um, this is the direct connection from the Google router to the modem. So according to the, the modem connection, I'm getting the speeds. It's just over the Wi-Fi. I'm not getting them. I guess that can vary. I see I have a lot of different devices connected, so that could be it. So I don't know why there's that much of a difference. Like I said, sometimes we're getting over 200, sometimes we're getting 100. And on a 2.4, I'm getting less than that. But we'll see what the speeds I'm getting right at this moment with the connection from the, when testing from the router to the modem. Uh, let's see, turn my screen back on. Okay, so I'm getting good speeds here. As you can see, and this is the connection direct, that's directly with the router that's plugged into the modem. And test that connection, and the speed test test the Wi-Fi connection. So, like I said, there's a big difference there. So, another thing you could do is you could test the mesh connection. I have the router and two access points. You could also get the router and one access point. It just depends on how big of a space that you want to cover. I got I got the one with the two access points because I just want to be sure that it had enough coverage. So, but you may be able to get by with just the router and the access point, or even just the router by itself. So it just depends on how big of a space that you want to cover. But for me personally, I I just went with the um, the three pack with the router and two access points, so I could be sure that my whole house is covered. So I will test the mess connection right now. Uh, screen keeps going dark, but turn it right back on so you guys can see. So you can see I'm getting a good connection and great connection. So connection is good there. And as you can see, these are all the different devices I have connected. I'm going to show you us about priority devices, but I'll let this load up first. So this is all the different devices I have connected right now. Um, priority device you can set on one priority device to get it, um, to make sure that's getting the highest connection speeds. So, for example, say I want to set the iPhone. You can only set it for a limited number of hours. The most you can set it for is four hours. Other routers I've had, they didn't give me a time frame or a time limit on the priority settings. So, you might you want to keep that in mind with the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. If you need longer than four hours or you need a device that's permanently getting priority, then you won't be able to do that with the Google um, Nest router or the Nest, the Nest Wi-Fi router. Um, I haven't found a way to do it yet or change it, but so far these are the settings that I have and the settings that I'll let, it'll let me do. So keep that in mind if you need something more than four hours or you need to connect a permanent device for a priority speed, then you might not want this router because it won't let you go anything past four hours. So I'm going to show you something else here. You don't really have to get this app, but I just downloaded it just to see what it was. It's pretty much similar things in the Google Home app, but there's a Google Wi-Fi app that you can download. As you can see, everything's connected, but I want to show you something in particular here. I'm going to type it on devices. And you can also test the speed test to individual devices. So I'm going to touch on this right here. And I touch up here. And then I can test that specific device speed of what it's getting. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I can see what speed the device is getting over the Wi Fi network. As you can see here, it says the Note 8, which I'm using right now. I'm getting 345 megabits, but speed test shows 100. So I, again, I don't know why, what the difference between the speed test 
app is and the Google Wi-Fi app is, but according to the Google Wi-Fi app, this is the speed that I'm really getting to the device. So and like I said, I'm not really sure what the difference between the Google Wi-Fi speed test is and the and the uh, speedtest.net app. So I'm really not sure what the difference is, but in any way, I'm getting good speed. I'm the, um, so it's working pretty well for me so far. And I really like it, like all the features I can do, the different things I can do. Um, like if you do want to use a Google Wi-Fi app, you can go here and do the same test that I ran here, that I ran in the Google Home app. So if I want to test the connection to my Wi-Fi points, the test here, I'm getting great, great. I can run a test mesh here, like so. And this is what it looks like in the Google Wi-Fi app. That's that. So it's pretty much the same exact thing as the Google Home app. So, but like I said, I just downloaded it just to see if there's any major differences or anything different in this app, and it's pretty much not really different. You can pretty much do everything you in the Google Wi-Fi app, and you can really pretty much do everything in the Google Home app that you can do in the Google Wi-Fi app. So you really don't need the Google Wi-Fi app, but you can just download it if you prefer that one over just using the Google Home as a separate as a separate um, Wi-Fi management for your home router. So. Let's finish with the mess test. And right now it says it's mixed, so I don't know I'm not sure what that means, but there's the room, one room's getting okay. The room I'm in now is okay. So everything seems pretty good. I can test my Wi-Fi connection here too. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay. So what this is, is when I actually go through and test each individual device. So that's one difference in this app than the Google Home app. You can actually test the individual device's Wi-Fi speed versus just the, the um the, the router connection to the modal speed in the Google Home app. So that this that app, this app does have that advantage. So you can test the Wi-Fi speeds for each device that's connected to a Wi-Fi network. And we'll see what this... It, sometimes it takes a little bit longer because I have a lot of different devices connected. So we'll see what this shows. So as you can see right here, what it's going to do is it's going to go through every single device that I have connected and it's going to test the speeds to that particular device. So it's going to see, let's see how far it goes. All right, so it looks like I'm getting so I'm not gonna go run through the whole test because it can take a while, but then you get the gist of it. So it's gonna go through and test every single device that I have connected. So that's all I want to show you guys is how to use the Google Home and the Google Wi-Fi app to control and manage your Google Home Wi-Fi network with the Google Nest Wi-Fi Mini. Also, if you want to get that device here, I'll leave a link to below where you can get that. So that's all I got for now. If you have any questions or whatever, then feel free to message me, leave a comment, let me know if you have this router, what you think about it, what's been your experience with it has been. Um, but I'll be curious to know that. And if you also want to see me do any, what other videos you might want to see me do, um, pretty, I mostly focus on um, how-to videos with cell phones and how to use your cell phone or things like that. But if you want to see anything about any particular or any kind of tech video, if I can do it, just let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see on, see on the channel, what you'd like to see me do more of. So, appreciate you guys taking out the time to watching. And any, like I said, any questions or any comments, just drop them in the comments below. And I also had a link to get your own Google Nest Wi-Fi router in the comments below as well. So, appreciate you taking time out for watching. That's all I got for now. So, have a great day.